What's up guys, generally be tourists coming back at you with another video on this New Zealand installment of a World War 3 match. Just wanted to give you an update. Uh, it has been the first week or in day 10. Uh, first video we did was on day one. You guys can check that video out uh, to see how we set up everything for New Zealand. A little bit of a tutorial as well. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. This channel is about giving you strategy and company nations to give you victory. Alright, so going into week one, what I've really done is just build up the island some more. Uh, I have a little bit more of an air force as you can see some units patrolling on the outsides just to make sure no one's kind of probing me or anything like that. When you have an island nation, it's good to have planes just probing in places where enemies might kind of just probe to see where you're at so you have awareness. That's pretty key. When I talked to you guys last time, I was thinking about attacking Australia. Well, things have changed pretty drastically. Uh, him and I are allies, as well as Indonesia, which is very nice. Uh, we created a coalition together, uh, which is very nice in this whole region, because Indonesia, Australia, and then of course me, New Zealand, are pretty much the only human players. There's the Philippines, he's been very quiet, but anyways, uh, us three are staying together, and that is very nice. In the first week, I took over Fiji up here, and I took up uh, this island as well. Uh, my plan is to get an airstrip here once I get enough resources. Uh, resources are very slow in New Zealand. If you guys choose it, just keep that in mind. It's very slow going. Uh, but once I get an airstrip going here and here, I can really start getting my troops around faster instead of ferrying them on boats. Right now, I have two naval units, uh, marines, that I'm going to see what's here in this island. Most likely going to attack them as soon as I see how many units are there. So those guys are going to hit pretty soon in a few hours. Japan is kind of our biggest enemy right now. He's moving into Vietnam, he's already taken Taiwan, he's taken all of Korea. He's a pretty aggressive player, so my ally Indonesia is aware of this, and right now he's in war with uh, Thailand. This is what I've researched so far. I have uh, up to day four for my motorized infantry. I researched the naval in uh, infantry for day two. Probably gotta keep continuing with that because I'm out in the water and it's good to have a good naval infantry. These are probably the two infantry units that I'm gonna focus on. I might do a third one eventually, but right now these are the two that I think are best for New Zealand. I've done nothing for the armored units yet. I might do amphibious. That's the one I'm kind of thinking, but of course I gotta do uh, the armored infantry, or armored fighting vehicle, sorry, first to get that. But it might be a good idea for me to do this. I've uh, never used this unit before, so it'd be a good learning experience. Uh, for support, I want to get the SAMs, because uh, I just want to post them all around my island, and that's really good for taking down airplanes, bombers, and also uh, missiles as well. I just want to get that going and have that there, but I haven't researched it because I'm going to skip over helicopters, and I'm not going to do anything helicopters, but because I'm going to keep researching my air superiority out a little bit more. I'm probably going to do one of my naval uh, fighters here eventually. Most likely I'll do a strike fighter because strike fighters are good all around planes. And then if I already have these, then I'm just going to do the naval strike fighters and I might do a carrier eventually, which would be a lot of fun. I've already researched the naval patrol aircraft. What these are good for is probing your waters and they can detect submarines and really do a massive punch on them. Now this is the lowest level, but they can do five on subs, seven on surface uh, boats. Go all the way to the end and we'll see how strong they are. Doing eight on subs and a 14 on ships. That's pretty massive. So I'm really banking on researching these out. I think it's going to be worth it for me to get them. And then for my boats, I have the Corvette and then I have its uh, uh, survivability refit researched. I'm probably going to do the destroyer next and then I want to go straight to the cruisers. Cruisers are just really good for all around. Uh, they can basically hit everything and show you here. You see here they do pretty good against uh, surface boats. Not so bad against subs but if you go down further of course they get stronger. All the way researched out 20 on ships that's pretty good. Five on subs. Lastly, uh, I like to use, I like to check out the seasons. Uh, I don't have much availability because you have to get badges for these. But in another game I'm in, I've been using the Elite Attack Aircraft. And let me tell you, these guys are strong. I think they're really worth it. If you just do the first one, they're pretty strong against infantry and against tanks. And then once you get to the highest, 15 for both. And they don't really cost that much either. Um, I believe it's about a few hundred gears. Yeah, right here. 800 
uh, components, sorry. That's not very expensive. And we're gonna research them out more, they get a little more expensive, but in another, in another game I'm in, it's the same type of aircraft, just different like skins for the A-10 Warthogs. It's like 950 gears, or sorry, I keep saying that, opponents. And if you get a lot of those going, like just a few, like 230 on like infantry and tanks, man, you're just killing, you're just mowing them down. So I've really been thinking about researching these out later on. I'm just gonna make that a really nice stack. It can hit mobile things when I get more and, and land and all that. So uh, that's what I got going on so far. I'm gonna get Guadalcanal right here, probably here pretty soon. And then come in here, Papua New Guinea with my friend from Australia. And I might grab Guam up here, uh, um, which will be my furthest north territory. And then things are probably gonna start getting dicey eventually with Philippines, definitely Japan. He's super aggressive right now coming into Vietnam. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are going to choose New Zealand, I hope this is very, very helpful for you and you can use it as a tutorial, just a guide on what would be the best strategy. Highly recommend just getting a lot of air superiority fighters out there just to protect yourself so you don't know if the ship's coming in this way, this way, or this way. You just know they're coming. All right. Thanks guys for watching this video. Subscribe and like for more content. We keep updating you guys and see you in week two. See ya.